Good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, depending where you're watching. Um, welcome back for another episode. Um, this time around, we're, we're not doing the, the sim rebuild. Um, reason being is mostly what I've got to do on that at the moment is painting, and um, probably doesn't pick it up on the camera here, but we're, we're pretty miserable wet weather here in Adelaide, South Australia at the moment. So um, I thought we'd give you an update on something else that I've been building over the last little while. So uh, here it is. Um, just about ready to, to sell this one. I'll advertise this shortly in a little while. So I bought this bike off, uh, I think it was Facebook Marketplace or Gumtree, one of the two, uh, for not a lot of money. Um, and then I've been slowly building it up over time. If I've got a photo of the original bike, I'll certainly put that up in the, the corner somewhere so you can have a look. But essentially it was a, a light blue hand painted frame, which was really, really rough. Um, with the, had these, rims on it um, again pretty rough and worn out uh, the bike itself is a specialized frame specialized fuse bike not quite sure of the era on it but I'll just run you through um, the little bits and pieces that added to it and changed so obviously the the frame itself is a, a different color uh, that's been painted painted that in was it called deep sea uh, color change paint um, hard to pick up on the camera today but depending on the angle that you you look at it and the sunlight that's around it'll flip between a green and a, a blue color um, so in the darker conditions it mostly shows up as a, a darker green yeah, so you might be able to notice that there and then as you get more light on it um, it flips into a, a blue color so that's uh, and then a, a two-pack clear over the top um, and to get the colour change working, it's got a black base coat under it. So you go, it was, I sanded it all down to a bare metal, um, put an etch primer on it, then a 2K primer, then a black, uh, then the colour change, and then the 2K clear. So a fair bit of work just in the, the frame. Uh, the white bits you see, so handlebars, front forks, uh, pedals, and uh, foot pegs. Uh, they're all uh, been powder coated, so powder coated uh, by a local company here, so I should say sandblasted and powder coated, uh, just in a, a gloss white finish, um, which offsets the colour nicely. Sorry about the, the noise of the, the car going down the street. Um, but uh, bits and pieces that we added, so the, the wheels are obviously different, uh, based off of. Um, Skyway Tough, um, very similar in price, but in my opinion, slightly better quality um, finish on them. So it's an ACS Z bag, they're called. Um, 20 inch, both front and rear. They've got new tubes on them, uh, new tires as well, with the tan white wall on them, which is a Maxxis Grifter tile. And if I get down here low enough, you might be able to see the, the detail there on the, the valve cap. So there's a local guy here in Adelaide that takes nine millimeter bullets, drills them out, puts threads in them um, and turns them into valve caps. So uh, got two of those on it, front and rear, so something different, looks pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, new brakes, uh, so Odyssey, um, not sure what you, you call them, but essentially that came with a, a new brake cable, new brake lever as well. And then while we're up here, you may as well have a look at the grips. So they're brand new grips too, your vans. Get what they're called now but uh nice and nice and soft and nice to touch uh the the seat again brand new uh, i think that is a, a relic branded seat i'm not real familiar with that brand um pedals brand new pedals so rock brothers pedals which are mountain biking bmx um generic sort of pedal um got all new bearings so you knew um I can't remember if they, well, they call the bottom end bearings, but I call it crank bearings myself. Um, then got new bearings in the, the head stem as well. Uh, new headset too, um, but I had to use the old bolt in there, so just quickly put some black paint on that to make it look a little bit neater. Uh, it's the original cog, 36 tooth cog uh, on there as well. And I should mention it's a brand new cog on the back to fit the um, AC, the um, rims as well. Uh, um, the paint itself, 
um, has a few little marks and, and chips on it because I actually painted it a long time ago and it's been sitting around and I finally finished putting everything together on it this morning. Never ridden a bike, I've actually got no real interest in, in riding the bike. I'm too old, the bike's too small for me. Um, so plan is just to get it out of my garage space and sell it onto someone else who, who will use it. So, um, there's just a couple of spare parts, so the wheels and the old head stem that'll chuck in with whoever buys it as well. So, um, if you're interested and you're local to Adelaide, um, give us a shout out. Um, and I'll happily sell it on. I'm not looking to make a whole heap of money out of it. Uh, hopefully just pass it on to someone who will get some enjoyment out of it um, and make the most of it. So anyway, that's uh, this week's update. So thanks. Um, next week, hopefully, we'll get a little bit better weather and give you some more updates on the, the scooter. And, and um, fingers crossed I'll be able to finish all the, the primer work on that uh, if the weather clears up and get it then closer to being ready to paint as well but anyway give us a like share subscribe um means the world to me if you do jump on and subscribe so for all of those you have thank you very much um otherwise hope you all have a good weekend week um depending where you're up to and uh if you're somewhere sunny enjoy the nice weather and hopefully that's coming our way soon cheers